Photonic quantum computer can complete a task in just 36 microseconds, which is just a tiny fraction of a second. The same task would take 9000 years on the best supercomputers we have today. This is called quantum supremacy. And this was recently achieved using Borealis quantum computer. This quantum computer operates using photons or simply light. Some days ago, researchers announced the breakthrough in photonic quantum computers. They developed a new photonic chip. And this chip operates at room temperature. And this is a big step forward to building a first practical quantum computer. Let me explain. Many companies, including Google, IBM, and many startups, rely on so-called classical superconducting qubit. And the main issue with this qubit is integration. Because these qubits are pretty large, and also you need bulky readout interfaces and cooling systems. The main drawback of this approach is that in order to make it operational, we have to cool it down to zero Kelvin, which is colder than in deep space. This is one of the main challenges to scale the system up, up to higher number of qubits. That's also make it difficult to come to smaller and more portable quantum computers. On the other hand, there are photonic quantum computers, which use photons, tiny particles of light, to store and to manipulate the information. A photon can also have two states, a horizontal and a vertical polarization. And these two states represent classical 0 and 1 bits. However, a photon can also exist in a superposition of these two states. So it is 0 and 1 at the same time. These photons are usually generated by a bulky external laser. Then, to perform operations on these photons, we use mirrors and phase shifters to create entanglement between photons. And this entanglement is the key to performing quantum algorithms. When two photons are entangled, they are connected, and they affect each other even if they are light years apart. And it's mind-blowing just to think of this, you know? Think of Big Bang, when all those particles were so densely packed together, and now they are spread all over the universe, still entangled. And some of these particles are a part of us. I like to think of this. Photonic quantum computers have many advantages over those based on electrons. First of all, photons are much more immune to the environment. Photons do not interact that much with the environment. That's the reason why they can operate at room temperature without any cooling. And also, this is a big plus in terms of scaling, because it makes it much more easier to scale photonic quantum computers to a larger number of qubits and also building a more portable quantum computer. Sounds cool, right? But here is the problem. In order to make photonic quantum computers to work, we need to generate entangled pairs of photons. Till today, to generate this light and its quantum states, we used bulky optical equipment. For example, huge lasers like this, and many large beam splitters. But we know that everything what is bulky, like a classical a qubit, it's very hard to scale. And eventually we want a device which fits in our pocket or on the table, right? Not a computer which occupies the entire lab. And in this new paper, they solved this problem. This is the new paper which came out just a few days ago. Here, they've built the first photonic chip for quantum computing that integrates all the required functionality into a tiny chip, 1 to 1 cm square. Dutch researchers were able to integrate all the complicated optics and filters together on a single chip. What is truly fascinating is that they were able to shrink the size of the laser, so the, the size of the light source, by 1000 times. Oh wow! This new chip can both generate photons on a chip and entangle them without all of this bulky equipment. So basically they solved the problem of integration. This new chip combines two emerging technologies, 
a laser made of indium phosphide and a filter made of silicon nitride. The first section generates the light and then they filter out the noise from the light so it doesn't interfere with the quantum states. Then two photons are abolished to generate entangled pair of photons. This chip draws about 3 watts of power, which is honestly quite a lot, and it's able to generate 8000 pairs of entangled photons per second. This is such an amazing progress. Let me know what you think in the comments. What makes this technology so appealing that photonic quantum computing has many advantages over other types of quantum computing? It is definitely better scalable and also it's more robust against noise. And this is already covering the main challenges which we are facing with classical quantum bits. Also, they are easily integratable with modern telecommunication systems through an optical fiber. This means we can easily scale photonic quantum computers, build it in a cloud, and even build the quantum internet to connect them. That internet, theoretically, will be much more secure and much more powerful than the modern internet. In general, photonics is already widely used in many other applications, in telecommunications, in photonic computing, and in sensors. This means there is already a mature infrastructure for manufacturing of these devices. And all of this makes it easier to develop and scale this technology. Why is this research is important? Because photonic quantum computing has a potential to generate exponential speeds up in science. And eventually the goal is to make this world a better place. For example, we will be able to simulate the behavior of cells and organs and complex biological systems with high accuracy. This will allow us to deeper understand the process of aging and potentially develop the treatments or drugs to slow it down or even to reverse it. It can potentially solve the problem of longevity and also help us to find new materials to enable more sustainable and efficient using of resources and in general to promote the well-being of our planet and animals. There is actually another exciting alternative to classical superconducting qubit. This technology is called silicon quantum dot. What's interesting is that it's offering similar advantages to those which photonics has. Silicon quantum dot technology is based on silicon. You see this wafer behind me? And it's leveraging standard CMOS technology to implement qubits. With that, as you know, we already achieved amazing scaling and integration. And this means we can integrate millions of such silicon qubits on a single chip. I already have a video explaining how this technology works. And in this video, I'm featuring one of the top researchers in the field, Dr. Stefano Pellerano, who is one of the leaders of Intel Labs working on silicon quantum dots. Check it out, I will link it below. If you want to support my channel, the link to the Patreon is below. On Patreon, I write about chips, about deep tech and AI from a chip engineer point of view, and also share some behind the scenes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao!